let's jump back into actually watching the ma- match better in a better way. Yeah, a better way because we have lots of apps out there that that we we can plug in all these uh, forehand errors, backhand errors, and first serve percentage, second serve percentage, and and that's all well and done. But but <clears throat> I've been working on an app the past uh, eighteen to twenty months, and um, we actually went back to the drawing board because we wanted it to even be more powerful because as we begin to get through and I know a lot of coaches have asked when when's your app coming out and and it's coming but but we were we were almost there and I was like you know what I'm finding out things even now that's a little bit deeper and gives a, a better picture I want to give the, the try to give a give a tool to coaches and parents and players that give them a more clear picture of what really is happening okay so it's it has a lot to do with the why we talked about why is this happening and when is it happening most of the time okay So I, I use the point tracking chart uh, that, I, that I have and <clears throat> I went through and I, we, we videotaped the match and I went through and watched the match and I scored it. And I want to talk to you about that and about the difference in what, how to coach by the numbers is what I've kind of called it. Uh, and then the difference in that and looking at the data and drawing better uh, picture um, instead of just assuming what happened based on what you saw in the moment or maybe even saw watching the match because if I was watching that match on even on the videotape I'm going to see it in a different way than here and I'll give you an example when I, when I was watching it I was getting caught up in wow Mason's hitting a lot of backhand returns he's just hitting a lot of backhands period and I and I was thinking to myself wow he's hitting like 70 percent backhands and 30% forehands and that's why he's that's why he's losing these points because he's not using his forehand as a weapon he's not hitting enough forehands <laughs> so I did the numbers not true so just just one one thing <laughs> it wasn't true. His, he on his re, when he's returning serve he hit the score was 6-3 you won so he played nine games so basically he returned one two three he returned five times out of the five return games he hit 13 backhands on his return and 10 forehands. It was almost 50-50. Yep. And I was literally thinking it was 7-30 or 80-20 because yep. that's what it looked like. Because you, 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 you fixate on what you, the error you're looking for. Oh, he made an error and it was a backhand. Oh, he made another error and it was a backhand. Oh, he made, made another. And you, you just think, okay, his backhand, he needs to work on his backhand, technically. Right? Yeah, and the way he hit, he hit the, the way in the, the way he set up, or which, it was long. Which those are, I'm not, I'm not throwing the baby out with the bathwater. I'm not saying that technical and the movement was not an issue for him, because because I think I think that there are some adjustments we can make in practice. However, where he was trying to hit it, and when he was trying to hit the shot was was what really got him. Okay. So there, that's one thing. Then I looked at the R1. Okay, the first shot after the return. Out of five games, his R1 was six backhands and nine forehands. He hit more forehands on his R1. And I, I could have sworn, looking at that match, he hit more backhands. And he didn't hit more forehands. So, so that's just one small uh, area of the first two shots of the point that I thought, what well, you're dominating him with your serve to make him hit tons and tons of backhands, and that's why it wasn't the case. And it wasn't the case at all. So then, um, <clears throat> and I broke it down as far as forehand, 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 backhand, backhand, forehand, backhand, backhand, the combination patterns, and then when he just hit a backhand and and the ball 
and that was it, the point ended, or he just hit a forehand on the return and the point ended. So just run through those numbers. So forehand, forehand combinations, he hit four. Forehand, backhand combinations. This is just a return. This is just return, return one. First two shots. Because okay. really, that's all. Listen, yeah. if, you, if, you, if you can't get the first two shots down and you can't really play those two strong patterns, those patterns strong, it doesn't matter. Okay, because because it's it's a downward spiral. It, it goes from there. Yeah. So forehand, forehand, it was four times. Forehand, backhand, it was three times. Backhand, forehand, it was five times. And backhand, backhand was three. Now that's fascinating because I thought he hit tons of backhand, backhand combinations, and that was basically tied for the lowest. Backhand, backhand, yeah. at least. Guess what? He hit more backhand forehands. He hit five of those. He hit four forehand forehands, and he only hit three backhand backhand. So again, your eyes deceive you. What you think, mm. because you're you're looking. You're fixated for on the that. backhand's the problem. Yeah, you're fixated on the on the air. 